Good morning. My name is Heidi Dobbo and I will be your celebrant today. I wish to pass on all my condolences to you all. Harold Smith, better known to us all as Harry, was a kind, caring and supportive father. He was a great mate and a friend to all. If you ever had the pleasure of meeting Harry, you would have said the same thing. He was a top bloke and a good mate. We gather today with Harry's family, his daughter Tempson, his sons Adrian, Christian and Eric, his grandson Sale, Dylan, Kai and Fletcher. We welcome the rest of his family and all his dear friends. We have here to support us all today, so thank you. Today is the start of goodbyes. Goodbye is one of goodbye to the one we love who was tragically taken way too soon. Goodbye is hurtful, is never easy, but you're not alone. Together we all say goodbye to Harry. I'm honoured to start his story with you today. Harry lived a full life, 70 years, 72 years of experience in love and memories and lots and lots of fishing. He loved his fishing. Born 29th of June 1949 at Canberra Hospital to Betty and Joel Smith. Their first child and only boy, Harold John Smith. His parents always talked about he, he had a gentle soul he was well liked at school and a great big brother to his two sisters, Nancy and Diane. Harry finished school after year 10 and became a builder working with his Uncle John. Till Uncle John's business became way too busy and he took Harry on as a business partner. And this is where he stayed for the next 48 years. Meeting Marion at the local dance in 1969, there was one thing everyone said was it was love at first sight. Harry and Marion were married two years later. They settled just out of town on Campbell Street. They made their house a home for their whole married life. This is where home to their four children. Tempson was first with Adrian and Christian twins, just two years later. Ensuring the family was not busy enough, Eric was born 14 months later. Harry was a great dad, never missed a soccer game or an opportunity to take the whole family camping and fishing. There were few things that Harry loved, his family, camping, fishing, and his mates. When the kids grew bigger, Marion and Harry got involved in the local fishing community where he won a lot of awards and made loads of friends. Fishing took Harry all over the world and as we say today, he died doing something he loved. He and Marion can now together fish and just just be together again. A beautiful man with a beautiful soul has gone sudden from us. He will be remembered for his humour, his kindness and his great love for all people of all kinds of animals and the environment. Harry, I'm sure, will continue to fish with us all sitting right beside us, giving you tips on which bait and which um, <laughs> uh, lines to be using. He'll be sitting next to you, telling a really great yarn. So next time you're fishing, remember how happy you made Harry and his life was full because of you all. I wish to welcome Harry's son and oldest grandson, um, up, Eric and Zane sailed uh, to share a few stories.
Thank you, boys. As we go forward today, you may feel blessed to have known Harry and the love and the friendship that he shared over his lifetime. Thank you. The family do wish to invite you all before you head off um, to the local club for a catch up and a bite to eat. Thank you.